I'm gonna give you a little opinion here about this new uh, Quake cinematic teaser that they posted on uh, yesterday at, at E3 by Bethesda Software. They released it. It's, it's an ID software game. So here's the thing. Um, a lot of people are disappointed because they say it's a it's a hero game. It looks like a it looks like a hero game because there's going to be classes. So basically, there's going to be classes where you can. It's not really a class. Basically, each each uh, character can have a different um, ability, like a hero. You know, like a hero. And and it's true that is like a hero game. It's not like any hero game we've had so far. All the hero games so far have been like. Overwatch and you know other ones like that that are more of a team-based game and kind of cheesy hero. I would call it like that. Kind of like I don't I don't know exactly what to call it. It's yes, it's it's a little bit more for noobs or something, but you got to think. This is an actual PC game exclusively. And Tim Willis said that it's an arena shooter. So I would never call Overwatch an arena shooter. It's a team-based, you know, kind of like a mix of Call of Duty and, and you know, a fast-paced shooter with, uh, with instead of leveling up, I don't know if it levels up. I haven't played much of it, but I've watched a lot of videos on it. But the thing is, is compared to a leveling system, having an ability is nothing like an, a leveling system. If, if you have an ability, if, if you're playing a game, and say I'm uh, the female, I'm one of the female characters that's smaller, faster, lighter, but I take more damage. But I'm faster, I can avoid things easier. So that might be my ability. Maybe my abilities, I can, I can, I can, I'm better at, at uh, sniping, like long distance shooting, and I'm faster, right? Or better with, like in the video, she's running around with a with light machine gun, she's using a machine gun, and she's running around fast and darting off the off the stage faster compared to the big guy who's slower but shoots rockets. So like there's a heavy character that shoots rockets. The difference between that type of a character and leveling up is when you level up, the characters look exactly the same, but you have no idea how much more powerful they are. You don't have no idea what attachments or extra abilities they've gotten. Maybe they have ridiculously high armor or maybe they have um, infrared scopes or whatever, something to take advantage that you don't, you haven't gotten yet. Because if you're if you're playing a one-on-one -on -one game and you pick that character, you've chosen that character because you like her, because she's faster and and moves faster. If the other guy, car other person picks a character that's big and and bulky like that and slower, but shoots rockets, you know when you see that character what that character is. You're like, oh, okay, they picked the slower, faster. I'm faster. I can do this or I'm slower, I can barrel in there and shoot rockets into the corner or whatever it is. So the tactics are the same. You still, it's still competitive because of the tactics. So that's my take. I'm not really that worried about it. You look at, this is ID software. They did the same thing with Doom, right? Doom multiplayer beta came out and everybody said, oh, this game is crap, oh, it's so terrible. They're afraid to release it because they're not gonna release a beta of the single player because they know it's gonna suck. Bam, it came out and it's ridiculous. It's like the best first person shooter in years. I mean, like in like a decade, it like smokes everything. And they were saying that glory kills were goofy in the thing, but now in the final, they're fantastic. It's not a big deal. They're fast, you get through them fast. It's, you know, they consoleized it, not consoleized. It's an awesome, it's an awesome game. I trust ID software, and here's here's the other reason why I trust them. ID software, ID. I call them ID software. Here's why I trust them. They didn't. Sh they just showed a cinematic trailer, but they're saving the big stuff for QuakeCon. This is a group of Quake loyalists, and they're going to show them the actual game in August. That's where. It, that's the thing that's going to. If they show that, they know that they can't screw this up because they have these loyalists that are gonna just rake them over the coals if they do it wrong. They'll do it right. They'll do it right. I'm out.